In this course, we will learn the BHDL syntax and the golden rules you will use to implement a good hardware design. The scope of this course is to give you all the necessary information you need to design an efficient hardware circuits. VHDL means Very High Speed Hardware Description Language. It was developed by the USA Army Department and standardized by High Triple E in the standard 1076 in 1987. The first significant revision has been released in 1993 with the improvements resulting from several years of feedback probably the most widely used version with the greatest vendor tool support. Another two minor revisions has been released in 2000 and 2002, introducing the use of protected type and relaxing the rules related to the ports. Major revision was released on 2009, introducing the use of external name, very useful in test bench design. For what concerns the course, we will refer only to the 1993 standard, that is the mainly supported by synthesis and simulation tools. Some hints will be given on VHDL 2008 for what concerns the test bench facility added to the syntax. The main confusion made when we talk about VHDL is to treat VHDL just like a common software language. VHDL is only a way of describing a physical circuits in terms of logic gates using an high-level description language. You must keep in mind this concept. VHDL is only a way of describing your circuits in a different way. For example, you can use a schematic entry to design your circuits VHDL allows you to implement the same design using a simple text editor. Maybe you are thinking, why he is annoying me with the same concept? Well, in my teaching and work experience, especially when I have to use VHDL code written by other people, I did notice that this simple concept is hard to understand and the classical software approach is widely used. So please, think hardware. Of course, you can also use VHDL to implement the test bench in order to generate all the stimulus you need to simulate your design. In this case, you can manage VHDL as a common software language, but only in this case. Well, let's start learning how to implement a hardware design using VHDL.